In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create Cloud Run service using Terraform. For that, I'm going to use the Visual Studio code. And you can see I created a folder called Cloud Run TF. And inside this folder, I have Run TF folder. And I have three files inside of this folder. And then I can see the provider.tf, main.tf, and case.json. So inside the main.tf, there is nothing yet. So inside the provider.tf, I use it the Google provider and I provide my project and project ID and region uh, US Central 1. And then you can see the zone US Central 1A and I provide the credentials case.json and I will show you how you can create a service account and how you can get this case.json. Basically, you can go to your Google Cloud Console and you have to click this uh, navigation menu and then you have to go to I am an admin and inside the I am an admin, you can see the service accounts. Just click the service accounts and you will see your service account. In my case, I have already created my service account and I provide some roles. So you can click this create service account and then you have to give the name and then you have to provide some roles. Uh, I'm going to show you what kind of roles I provided for this uh, project, small project. I provide cloud run admin and then service account user. So please add these two roles to your service account because otherwise you will have an error. So after that, you have to go to service account section and then click these three dots and then you have to provide the key. For that, you need to click this manage case and then you need to click this add key and create a new key and it should be JSON. So I don't need any case of JSON. I have already done it. So please uh, do it. And then after that, we can go to our Visual Studio code and inside the main dot here, we can start creating our resource block. So basically we'll use the Terraform registry page. And then inside that we'll use the Cloud Run service, Google Cloud Run service. And also we'll use the Google Cloud Run service IAM policy and also we'll use the Google IAM policy. So we'll start with copying this, not to waste too much time. I'm gonna copy this and then here I will, I will just paste it. So we can change the name, uh, cloud run from Terraform. I will say cloud run TF and I will copy this name to name here, you can see. And I provide the location US Central 1. Inside the template, we can see the containers. Inside the containers, we have an image, Docker image. So let's choose another image from the container registry page. So I'm going to go to container registry and inside that you can see the images. You can see the Docker images. I'm going to use the, the version 4, 1. And for that, I will click three dots and show pull image command so you can get this gcr.io part and you can see this is the, the version one we'll also use the version two soon so for the traffic i'm going to uh, just uh, comment it out so we'll use it soon or we can also do this let's run now let's run terraform init and do the and other stuff you can see my folder here i'm going to show say terraform minute and i'm gonna say i'm gonna do a terraform plan and i'm and now also i will apply terraform apply and we will see and after that we'll use the the second version of this uh docker image hello app Terraform plan. And finally, Terraform apply. Terraform apply. Yes. For now, uh, we don't have a public access. For that, we need to provide uh, here Google Google Cloud Run Service IAM Policy. You can see Google Cloud Service IAM Policy here. There is a Google Cloud Run Service resource block and there's a Google 
Cloud Run Service IAM policy. So you can see the apply is co complete. We can go to our Google Cloud Console and we need to go to Cloud Run and check. Yeah, we can see Cloud Run TF service and inside the service we can see the revisions. We have only one revision and 100% traffic is going to this revision. Let's create another revision and provide the traffic to 50% traffic to the new version and the, another 50 is to the old version. For that, I'm going to and a, uh, I'm going to comment out this and then provide uh, one more traffic. But before that, I'm going to change this 100 to 50 and we need to provide the, the revision name and let's copy it, let's double it and then let's provide the, each revision. And before that, uh, before we provide the revision, we need to here provide the second revision. So for that, I'm going to comment this image first revision and then provide here the second revision. We can go basically here and then you can get this second revision by pulling here. So it's only the two that will change. So let's apply. Uh, before we do this, let's, let's disable this and enable this apply. And then we need to check this revision two. And then after that, we can manage the traffic. All right. I think you, you get what I mean. Because we don't have a second revision now, so we cannot manage the traffic. So after we provide the second uh, revision image, we can split the traffic. So let's go revisions here and then let's refresh this Cloud Run service. We can see we have uh, two revisions and the, the, the second one, the one, the new one that we have created has a hundred percent of traffic. Now let's go to here and then enable this and let's provide the each revision. For that, you need to copy this. This is the first revision and then all here 50% of traffic. And then you have to copy the second revision also. And you have to give the 50% to another one and let's apply. Yes. And hopefully we'll see that each revision with the 50% of traffic. And for that, let's refresh one more time. And yeah, you can see that each a revision has a 50% of traffic and we can check our Cloud Run service by copying this, but it will not work for now. And I will say why it's not, it's, yeah, you can see that error forbidden. Our client does not have a permission to get URL because we didn't provide the Google Cloud Run service IAM policy resource block and we will provide it. So, you can see we have a Google Cloud Run service only this block. We'll uh, create another resource block and we'll name it. We'll name it Google Cloud Run Service IAM Policy, right? Google Cloud Run Service IAM Policy. And let's give a name. We are giving public access. So let's give public access for name. And in this resource block, the two arguments are required, the service and location. So you can go to Terraform registry page and check it out. You can see, you can here see that Cloud Run Service IAM policy. And you can go to argument reference here and again, you can see service and location are provided, are required. So you have to provide this. So let me, all right, so let's, let's provide the location, the, the service first. Service is our services, Google Cloud Run service run. And here we need 
cloud run tf and then the name and also we need to provide the location location would be cloud run service dot cloud run tf dot location and we also need the policy data policy data we don't have any policy data for that i'm going to use this google im policy so let's use it data data google im policy let's say pub one and then let's use the binding inside the binding we have a role and members roles in worker and then we will give the members members will give all users you can see we we have uh, created Google IM policy. This is a data block, not a resource block. So we'll, uh, we will provide this here. So data dot Google IM policy and then pub one. So basically we create the Google Cloud Run Service IM policy resource block. And then we also created data resource block here, Google IM policy. And then we use it is here inside the policy data. So now let's uh, go to the terminal and then apply it. Terraform apply. Let's do Terraform apply. And you can see we have an error uh, in 27. I guess we, I guess we did it wrong here. It should not be pub one. It should be. Yeah, it should be pub one, but we need to provide the policy data. Yeah, policy data. You can see it's a policy data. That's why we need to uh, provide at the end the policy data. So let's now run it again, Terraform apply. And yes, hopefully it will work. Yeah, you can see apply is complete. Now we can go to our Google Cloud console and then let's refresh it. And now we can take this URL and then here in the new tab, I will paste it and check. Yeah, you can see our Docker image is working. Hello world version one, host name, local host. It's perfectly working. Everything you can see the containers. We have two revisions. You can also check the logs, triggers, integrations, details, YAML. You can also play around with YAML and you can also edit and see the details triggers revisions and we have uh, two revisions you can you can play around with it you can go to each resource block and then uh, provide other arguments we can see there are a lot of arguments here that we have not configured yet so this is all about this for this video so you can see that we have done really simple uh, let's say the project you can see we use it Google Cloud Run Service and then also we'll use it the Google Cloud Run Service IAM policy resource block and finally we use it the data block here Google IAM policy so this is all about it for this video and see you in the next videos